Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today I'll tell you about the exact differential equation. Now first of all let us understand what are exact differential equation. Now any differential equation that has been represented in the form of m dx plus n dy and it, this equation is said to be exact if we can express this function as d times g of xy. Right. If I am able to write m dx plus n dy as a total derivative of some function in x and y, then what happens? This function is integrable and we can calculate the solution of this equation by simply integrating it. Right. So then this equation m dx plus n dy becomes an exact difference. Now the question is how will you determine whether a given differential equation is exact or not? So what is the test for exactness? So whenever any equation, differential equation is given to us, if it is in the form of an exact differential equation, it has to be represented in this form m dx plus n dy and you will identify the coefficient of dx as m and the coefficient of dy as n. Then the test for exactness is you will calculate the partial derivative of m with respect to y and the partial derivative of n with respect to x. If both are equal, that is curly m by curly y is equal to curly n by curly x, then we will say that the equation is exact. Right? So next, after the test for exactness, how do we calculate the solution of this exact differential equation? The solution of the exact differential equation is calculated as integration of m dx where we keep y constant so that means whatever terms of m is containing x we will only keep those terms and y will be kept constant in that and on the second integral we only take those terms of n which are con which are not containing x so terms of n not containing x and we take the integration with respect to y and we put it equal to some constant c right so there are two things to remember for exact differential equation. First of all, you need to test the exactness, whether the equations are given exact or not. And that is checked by curl m by curl y is equal to curl n by curl x. And the second thing, if the equation is exact, then we calculate the solution of the exact differential equation as integration m dx. And when we are taking integration of m with respect to x, we'll keep y constant. And in the second integral, we will only keep those terms of n which are not containing x, right? We integrate that with respect to y and we put it equal to some constant c. So now let us try to understand this with the help of an example. So we need to find the solution of this equation y e raised to power x dx plus 2y plus e raised to power x dy is equal to 0. So let us compare it with the standard equation m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So when you compare it with the standard equation, you will find that your m is y into e raised to power x and n is 2y plus e raised to power x. So let us first check whether it is exact or not. So curl m by curl y integration, sorry, derivative of m with respect to y. So it is e raised to power x. And derivative of n with respect to x, so you will find that derivative of 2y is 0 and derivative of e raised to power x is e raised to power x. So from here we get to know that curl m by curl y is equal to curl n by curl x. And hence the given differential equation is exact, right? So now if the equation is exact, how do we calculate the solution? The solution is calculated as integration of m dx. So m is y e raised to power x dx where we will keep y constant plus integration of n in which there should be no terms of x. So n has two terms, 2y and e raised to power x. So we will not take e raised to power x, we will simply take 2y dy is equal to common, right? So here when we take y constant, integration of e to the power x is e to the power x plus integration of 2y will be 2y squared by 2. So the constants will get cancelled and you will get your answer as y into e raised to power x plus y squared is equal to c, right? Okay. 
So let's work out another example so that it becomes very clear to you. So in the second example, we have 1 plus e raised to power x by y plus e raised to power x by y into 1 minus x by y dy by dx is equal to 0. So in this case, let us first of all put it in the form of m dx plus n dy equal to 0. Right? So how to put this? So let's multiply with dy dx. So we will get the term 1 plus e raised to power x by y into dx plus e raised to power x upon y 1 minus x by y dy is equal to 0. Right? So now when you compare it with the standard equation, your m turns out to be 1 plus e raised to power x by y. And n turns out to be e raised to power x by y, 1 minus x upon y. Right? So what is curl m by curl y? Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of e raised to power x by y is e raised to power x by y. And derivative with respect to y. So x is constant. Derivative of 1 by y will be minus x upon y square. Right? So now let us calculate the derivative of n with respect to x. So derivative of n with respect to x is, so we have two terms now, e raised to power, first term is e raised to power x by y. So derivative with respect to x will be e raised to power x by y into 1 by y. Minus, in the second term you can take out 1 by y constant, x into e raised to power x by y. So x First function constant e raised to power x by y will be 1 by y plus now e raised to power x by y is kept constant and derivative of x is 1, right? So here when you open it up, you will get minus x upon y square e raised to power x by y minus e raised to power x by y divided by so this gets cancelled and you'll get the term minus x by y square e raised to power x upon y. Right? So this shows that curl m by curl y is equal to curl n by curl x. So the given equation is exact in nature. Right? So if the given equation is exact in nature, how do we calculate the solution? The solution is calculated as integration m, that is 1 plus e raised to power x by y dx, where y will be kept constant, plus integral of terms of n not containing x. So you can see that both the terms are containing x, so we won't take any term. So this is equal to constant c. So now let's integrate. So first term is 1 dx, integration will be x. The second term is integration of e raised to power x by y. So it is e raised to power x by y. And since we are integrating it with respect to x, so we will have here 1 by y is equal to constant c. So we will get our final answer as x plus y times e raised to power x y y is equal to Right? So I hope you have understood the exact differential equations. Right? And you can try these practice problems and in the comment section do comment me whether you are able to solve these questions or not. Otherwise, just tell me the questions and if there is any doubt, I'll help you out. Right? So if you like the video, just hit the like button and those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.